everybody. It's Deb from Deb's Cool Finds. Um, it's just me at the moment, Miss Bella. Oh, she almost barked. She heard her name. She's laying in the living room. She might come and see us. Nope, she's got a toy. She's happily chewing on her toy. So um, anyway, thank you again for coming back to see another of my videos. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you, thank you, thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I can't believe I have I have gone over 200 um, viewers, I mean subscribers, so way more than I thought I ever would get, so that's awesome, so um, please keep keep coming. <laughs> um, anyway, um, as far as, this is another Timu haul, so as you know, um, I don't um, publish these on the same day that I um, film them necessarily because uh, I like to keep to certain days so I can keep up kind of a pattern for um, YouTube. So um, this is the Mon I am filming this the Monday after I lost my job last week. So um, I'm trying to stay positive and this the morning I sat down at my desk. You see I'm at my desk um, and I'm using my laptop instead of my work laptop, which I have put into the UPS delivery system already, um, along with an eBay um, purchase somebody made from me. I, I put that in the mail today, um, and I returned something to, to um, HSN. Um, if you saw another video um, where I talked about how I fell in those shoes, those are the shoes that were going back. So <laughs> anyway, um, so I decided I'm going to uh, make my looking for a job into work. So I set up my desk again with my laptop, like I said, and I did my unemployment um, request today. Um, so I got that started. I redid my resume with this current job on it. So yay, I finished that. I put that resume, updated resume on resume onto LinkedIn, um, onto my profile. And then I also sent out a, you can send like a a message out to everybody that's in your um, LinkedIn connections, I guess. Um, so I told them all I'm looking for work, so please look out for me. And um, then two of the guys that I worked with at this job, um, they connected with me on LinkedIn also. And that company was a staffing company, so cash all fingers that they can find something for me. I just have had strange job titles, so it's kind of hard finding the category of work that I need to be in. So that's always fun when I have to look for work. But anyway, so I've got options out there. I also applied to four, four already, um, jobs on LinkedIn. So I have been busy today. <laughs> I had to go shopping in the rain. I had to go to the post office, UPS. And then I did all this work here. It's now about three in the afternoon, my time. So I think I've had a pretty productive day. But I got this in the mail. So we've got another Timu bag to go through. Now, I had purchased a few orders prior to everything going my world flipping over. So um, those would be coming in. Um, and then I haven't really placed anything yet since then because I'm trying to hold tight to finances till I see how that's all going. But I am wearing Timu earrings. Look at that. It's a nice, beautiful beach. And then there's two little lounge chairs and an umbrella. And I'm picturing me sitting on there. You know, you could picture yourself on one of them too. We could be having some, you know, some margaritas or pina coladas or something. Um, my mom mentioned the other day, this weekend when we went to see a movie, um, that she's looking forward to getting, it's called the, let me get it right, Mocha Chocolate Getaway. Um, it's a drink and it's on Carnival. So we'll get it on the cruise. We always get it together. We love it. But it's like got Bailey's in it and it's got chocolate drizzles all down the inside of the cup and it tastes like ice cream and it's delicious. So she's all excited about that already. And my dad just keeps saying, I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat. So I don't know. He's, he's just, he's a buffet fanatic. He's like, it's like Golden Corral on the ocean. If y'all have that restaurant, you'll, y'all know what he's talking about. But so he's, he's silly. But uh, um, we had a nice dinner at a Mexican restaurant. It was really good. I had two tacos and then still within my calorie range for the day. Um, but I did cheat at the movies. I had some popcorn. 
Oh, it was so delicious. A little, little one. I had a little one. Um, and then uh, I did sneak in my Zevia soda. So I had that with me. Um, and then we saw, um, what did we see? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Flash. We saw Flash. So it was cute. It was funny. So we had a good time. It was my parents and um, a cousin who I always call aunt because she's between my age and my mom's. So that's just what my mom had me do. So we all went and we had a great time. So stop talking, girl. Get into your order. So I did keep track this time um, pretty well of, and I got my little notepad here is what I'm looking at, of any price adjustments that I got. Um, I was uh, thought I was talking about price adjustments too much, but I've gotten multiple requests down below in the comments. Put your requests down below or any ideas you have in the comments. But I've received comments asking me to please not stop mentioning price adjustments, to do it in every video so that it refreshes your memory. So I'm addicted to it. I, I, I mean, I have an issue. but um, So I look at it multiple times during the day. And um, But anyway, you just... On your app, you look at the very bottom, it should say you, Y-O-U. You click on that, it'll give you a list of options. One of them is your orders. Click on that. And then one by one, go down to your orders that have been placed which in, within the last 30 days. Um, and then click on your order. You know, you'll see a picture of some items in your order. Click on that. And then there'll be another little list of options. They'll be like return an item, review an item, <coughs> etc bless you. Um, and uh, if you see request price adjustment, that means something in your order dropped in price. Click on it. It'll show you the item. It'll show you what you paid, what the new price is, and what the credit is that you can get. Then I always click on Timu credit and I hit, you know, request the adjustment and boom, I instantly get up a text message saying that uh, amount has been credited to my account. And then I use that on future orders. So please don't forget to do that. And it can happen on multiple items in an order. It can happen to the same item multiple days. You know, you can get maybe a penny here and then the next day you could get a couple dollars and maybe another three cents, you know, a week from now, but any time within that 30 days. So check it every day. Don't be as obsessive as I am, but <laughs> check it every day. And I'm still playing Fishland and Farmland. I, I'm not getting any further because they keep giving you less water and less fish food and they make the fish take even more feedings to fill up and the same with the watering it takes much more watering and um, since I haven't been placing any orders that hinders me because they give you points for that and they're only giving me like two cents you know now in fish land so I'll keep you posted um, but I have heard from viewers in the comments below that they have won. So it is possible. And they haven't been doing the invite or any of the kind of obnoxious stuff. They've just been playing the games. So keep you posted on that. And again, if you like this, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe and the bell notification. Uh, leave me a comment on anything in this order that you might be interested in ordering yourself. Um, or if you've seen something now that you've watched me a bit, if you see something that you think I would like that I haven't found yet, please let me know. Oh, also this shirt, little tank top. I just love the colors. Uh, Timu, <laughs> Timu rings, um, Timu nail decoration. It just, it's a sticker. It just sticks on you. Same with this one. So multitude of options of those, Timu earrings. I think that's it. Timu shorts, but I'm not showing you. Uh, <laughs> that's it for now. So um, I don't really have any to review at the moment. If I've forgotten to review something that I told you I would, please let me know below. I'm still working. I, I forgot your name, but I'm still working on um, getting the cake leveler uh, review for you. So we'll continue on. This is another little top that I ordered, and it's called Beige White. I got it in an extra large, which is their, normally their 12. Um, this did have, so originally it was $3.69. Um, I got a 10 cent price adjustment one day. I got a two cent another day. So it ended up costing me $3.57. I mean, I was at Walmart today and you can't even find clearance stuff for that. So I, I like the prices. Um, but this is just a cute little top that I thought I could dress up maybe on the cruise and it looks like it would be very cool because it's got this eyelet 
design to it so you can see my hand through it. It's not very heavy material. You know, you could see see you through there. And then the nice little like lacy kind of sleeves. Okay. And then it's just nice and flowy. So I thought that would be kind of cute just in a day outfit or I could even try and dress it up for evening if I wanted. Um, not for the elegant night, but just for the, you know, a nice dinner outfit. And this one is 95% polyester, of course, and 5% spandex. So not a bad top. I mean, that would even be cute if I could just wear a totally white bra under it um, for even, you know, a Zoom interview. So <laughs> um, that top is is nice I like that it's so good on that one so far what is in here this is a big old box I'm gonna get something this bag is tight okay let's get in here okay um oh this one boy this doesn't look anything like I thought okay this one is a ring it was a whole 29 cents um it caught it says resizable silvery blue green um, I don't know if you've seen them on there, but they're the ones that look like they glow. So I'm curious about wearing this different places. I wish I would have had this. We went and played um, miniature golf, my dad, because I told you when he heard I lost my job, he said, yay, let's go play miniature golf. You're not doing nothing. So uh, <laughs> we went at this indoor place and it was just done in all of the neon and black lights and everything. So like my nails were glowing and, and different things. And I should have had this to see if it worked. But it's not everyone that has that, the coating in there. And it's completely white. So I'm not understanding why it shows blue on all the pictures. But there it is. It's just a little ring. So you see, let's see if I can show it to you. The majority are, you know, so it's like empty, white, empty, white. But it shows blue on the, um, you know, in the in the pictures, in their ads. So I don't know. But, and then the back, see, is not connected. So it's completely, you know, adjustable. So I'll have to see. We'll have to see if that changes color or if that's it or what. I took my other ring off because it's getting a little bigger and... Every time I was typing on resumes and stuff, it kept sliding around. Well, hello, Miss Bella. How are you? They can't see you down there. You have to go in the bed. Okay, speaking of Miss Bella, Miss Bella is a little piglet. And she's she's been having some stomach issues. And I started paying attention. Like, I changed her food. I was just giving her dog food. Um, but I was giving her the the gluten-free kind and I give her the salmon because I mean her she is so silky smooth and and it just helps her fur and some of her itching um but she was having all kinds of stomach like I could hear her stomach it was so loud so I started doing a routine that my brother had done when he had some puppies that had parvo um and the vet had said feed them plain white rice boil um, ground beef and, um, and then I was putting green beans in there because I know that's good for them. And so I've been helping to do that with her. To, and then I mix it with the salmon, the salmon um, dog food. But she's still been having a little issues. So I figured out one thing that could be causing it. And that's that she's a big piglet. And she, I can put that food in her bowl in my dining room. By the time I get to the kitchen, I swear she's like done with it. So she's eating too fast. And if stuff ever comes back, um, it's not digested. So, yeah, she's having an issue with that. So I saw this and I thought I would give it a try. Um, <laughs> it is it's something you can just stick into her existing bowl. So I don't have to buy another bowl. It costs $4.77. She's worth it. But it's got suction cups on the back, a whole bunch of them. So it should stick to her bowl. And then it's got all these. It's just like a plastic. It's not going to hurt her. Nothing sharp on there. But it's got these little prongs. You can see in there. And then it's got all that. And what happens is you're supposed to put her food in there. And then it's harder for her to get to it. She can't just go, you know, and devour the food. She's got to actually dig for it between these little things. So I was anxiously awaiting this to see, first of all, if it will work. Um, and then second of all, if that kind of helps her tummy issues a little bit. So, um, yeah, she's an incredibly fast eater. So 
<laughs> we have to stop that. And uh, hopefully this will work. If you have other ideas or tips on this that might help her, let me know below. That would be amazing. Uh, like I said, it was four dollars and seventy-seven cents. And speaking of Miss Bella, I also her collar is getting kind of worn out. I love the pink on her, just with the black and the white, so cute. And everybody says she's a boy. So <laughs> when the pink collar on, they kind of realize that's a girl. Um, but I got medium, so I'm hoping that fits her. Um, it's called Bright Pink, and it's a collar. The pink collar was $2.51. Um, it is adjustable, so it's just straight, beautiful pink, so that'll look gorgeous on her. Um, I can adjust it here. Um, and then it hooks on her onto her leash here. And then it's also got this little kind of handle on it if I wanted to, you know, grab her back from something. So we'll see if, if she likes this one, if it fits, and if it's, yeah, that should fit her fine. Um, yeah, she's got little ears, so when the collar isn't on there well enough, she just slides right out of it. So, but if you've watched my walking videos, you see I walk her in a halter so she doesn't pull. So uh, this is just to keep her tags on there. And then when I just take her out in the afternoon where she could just go potty and come back in, um, then we do just her collar. So she got a present. I've been getting enough for myself. I thought it was about time I shared with my Bella. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the cruise I'm taking with my parents is not technically their anniversary because their anniversary is September 21st and we're going on the 25th, but I'm going to decorate our, um, don't tell carnival, but I kind of fibbed about their wedding anniversary. So I put that it was the second day of the cruise just so, you know, they could celebrate them. <laughs> um, but I also wanted to decorate our cabin door because I told you I like doing that. And I wanted a couple little ideas for um, thing, you know, little craft supplies that I can use to decorate the door. So this was something called Three Love Kissing Couples. Uh, um, okay, this is the Red Hearts. No, I got this for 58 cents. This is the Kissing Couple. I just thought it was cute. I don't quite understand all these sticks in here. So when I do create these crafts, um, I will I will take them and let you see them and everything so you can see how I did. But isn't that cute? Oh, let's do that. Isn't that cute? I thought that was adorable. There's just a little cutout paper. But I could put that, you know, glue that to something, make it cute. And they did meet. My mom was 17 when they met and my dad was 24. <laughs> and, and then as soon as she turned three months later, she turned 18 in the end of August. And then the end of September, they eloped. And so this will be their 63rd wedding anniversary in September. So, yeah. So, uh... I thought that was adorable and then it came hmm it comes with these little sticky dots I don't know if you can see that at all maybe there you can see the little sticky dots on there it came with three sticks I don't I don't think I'll be using these um, you could use this as a cake topper is why that comes with that but then it also came with these little sparkle hearts in two different sizes that I can just take out, you know, and use that in my decorations. So you got the hearts, you got the couple, and then you've got the little sticks and the glue, glue things. I guess you could glue the hearts to the sticks. I think that's what it is. So the two little hearts would be on the littler sticks, and then the bigger hearts heart would be on here, and you could use that as a cake topper or something. But I'm not using it for that. I'm using it for a door decoration. Okay. And then another thing I found, this is a happy anniversary cake topper that again, I won't be using for that specific purpose. Um, this was originally 98 cents. I got a four cent price adjustment so far. And so it's brought it down to 94 cents. And if you see the picture up here, it shows it as an actual cake topper. Okay. Um, they don't call it anything on here, so 
um, but oh, it's really pretty. Let me put it up against something white. There you go. Look at how pretty that is. Happy anniversary, flowers. I'll probably snip that off to use it for my purposes. So it would just be that. Happy anniversary. It's just a thin plastic little piece, but really pretty graphics. Those roses are beautiful. So I thought that would be really cute and some kind of door decoration. I'm excited and now I have time to do it. See, fine the silver lining in your clouds. <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, whatever. Anyway, um, okay. If you, like I said, saw my other, <laughs> other drama of, um, falling in my shoes, rolling down a hill, um, <laughs> I needed to get another pair of shoes and then I was going to go try Walmart or something. I don't want to spend a lot on them right now. Um, but I need them for my walk because if you saw another video I posted, um, there's a big hole in the toe of my shoes that I was using. Um, so I saw these and I, honestly, I would probably not have just picked these out, but um, they were having a deal and the, the email... I think it was an email or a text, one of the two, came to me saying it was for brand new users. You could get these shoes for this price. So I thought, I'm going to try it anyway. And I clicked on it, still said the price. And then I put it in my cart and it still had that price. So I got a pair of shoes for $2.34. So I couldn't refuse. They're a little bolder than I normally go, but I don't care. I'm going walking and they're white. So they're going to get quite dirty walking down the grass. But bam look at those shoes <laughs> like, they look fun i mean look at the heel that's hysterical um but the laces are actual laces that's the issue with the other pair i had they were fake and so they just were slipping off my foot they look nice and padded back here i have an issue of the back of my foot rubbing sometimes on shoes and then you know, you get a blister and then you don't want to walk and I don't want any excuses, but it's got that design on both sides. Mine are in an eight and a half, which is, oh man, I don't like their sizing, which is a 41. <laughs> so anyway, oh, and then it's got a cute, to show you on the tongue. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, what is that? I don't even know what it is. Just a heart and something. I don't know. But it's pretty. I like the colors. So it'll match anything I'm wearing on my walk. Uh, nobody will, will miss me coming and going. So they'll get on my way. Um, they do anyway because so many people are afraid of my dog without even knowing anything about her. But whatever. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah. That's but $2.34. I mean, I couldn't say no. So I'm glad I got them. They actually came with two of them. Um, <laughs> $2.34. So those are my shoes. I got another, another decoration. Um, this one is supposed to be a seven piece heart set. And like I said, the majority, well, all of these um, were supposed to be cake toppers. So if you're looking for like crafting materials, don't, don't uh, overlook the, you know, party section or cake toppers or stuff like that. If for items you might want. It comes all like this. You have to put it together. Um, all it says is red heart. I got this one originally for 58 cents and then I got a two cent price adjustment so it brought it down to a total of 56 cents. Wow, there's a lot of toothpicks in here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come join the party. Everybody wants to see you. Don't be shy. Okay, sorry for the crinkling. So, holy moly, it came with, well, um, seven, I assume. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven of these toothpicks in a multitude of sizes. So it looks like I've got these two teeny tiny ones. Okay, I've got this giant one. And then I've got four of that size. I got my little sticky dots. Okay. 
but I just want the hearts. Oh, I got two packages of sticky dots. There's another little package of sticky dots. But one of them came out already, so I can show you that one close up. So it's glittery, but not the kind of glitter that comes off on you. Um, it just looks sparkly. The backs are plain. So I can just glue that onto something. And then there are seven of them. So you've got a little tiny one. Well, here. You got this mid-size, you got teeny tiny, another mid-size, and then another medium, and then teeny tiny. So yeah, I thought those would all go together with the look of, you know, let's see, like the couple, and then we'll have the hearts. You can even put that, like, oh, look at that. And then we've got this, so you could do, you know, something like that. No, happy anniversary, whatever. I like that. I just thought of that one. That's pretty cute, isn't it? I like that. That's so cute. They're going to be so surprised. And my mom will be like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. But she won't be. She'll be pleasantly excited about it, but she won't let it show too much. So. <laughs> and I think I might, again, I did this for my birthday. I think I talked about it. I put up a, um, um, a little dry erase board. And I put that on my door, and it was my birthday, and I said, it's my birthday. Um, and then people were writing happy wishes on it and stuff, so I might do that for their anniversary one to see if they get any any good wishes on there. Um, this is another thing for my ballerina. Uh, I have so many nicknames for her. But this is in a large, because I wasn't sure on the sizing, so we'll see. But every time I put her, I know it's not right, because she's not that spotted um, but she reminds me of 101 Dalmatians because they were all black and white and they had red collars so this reminds me of that when she was little somebody actually said oh you got a Dalmatian I was like mm, no <laughs> so, but whatever so this is a little more heavy duty wow that's that's really heavy duty right here from here to here here to here it's like thicker and then it kind of lessens it's got five holes in it and it's just your regular kind of you know attachment here so this will hold her you know her tags and then this will just go we'll just go through there through there through there and fit all pretty on her so now she can go out in different colors and look, her colors match my shoes. <laughs> so we'll be, we won't, you know, you will not be able to miss us when we are out there. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Okay. This, I didn't know if this, first of all, if you get something in a box from Timo, what Timu? Once they send it here, it goes through customs. Customs is not very delicate or appreciative of our packages. They're probably like, we are so sick of those orange bags. But um, so boxes come squished. Just, yeah, just, yeah. Just, um, so far, not going to wood. I have not had anything damaged due to this effect. Um, I've heard some other YouTubers, a couple have. Um, but then just return it. Their policy is amazing. 60, 60 days. I think it's 60 or 90 day I think it's 90 90 day return policy um, you just again go into you go into your orders find the order you want choose return an item and then you'll click on whatever item or items you're returning you'll click one of their pre-assigned reasons for returning it say you want a credit and then so far um, boom I've gotten the credit instantaneously and so far I have not had to physically return anything they're just they like just keep it so um, yeah don't don't not return something if it's broken thinking that it's gonna be a big hassle or something like having to go to the post office and all that you normally don't have to okay it comes with a rechargeable cord of course our little standard tiny cords but it veinless hanging neck band but it's spelled v-a-n-e-l-e-s-s -S. is that a word i'm not sure um it says it's great for indoor and outdoor use it comes in a multitude of colors um there's white black pink blue green i got it in white 
Um, it's got a bunch of information. So charging time is three hours. Rotation speed is 8,000 times per minute. It's got a lithium battery in it so that's rechargeable. Okay, it is a neck fan. So some of these days, the, the heat doesn't bother me as much as that humidity. So I thought, and, and I sweat, this, this head sweats. So it, I mean, it's true. Anyway, so I thought maybe this would help. And even if I don't take it on my walks, um, I don't keep my house thermostat super cold because I'll just wear a tank top and a little pair of shorts around the house. Um, and the, I have little fans on. Bella's comfortable. She's not, you know, too hot or anything. So as long as that's okay. Um, but when I'm on the treadmill, <laughs> I'm working up a sweat and it feels so hot. It's Ooh. so funny. Like you'll get on there. I'll get on there and I'm comfortable. And then I can just feel the heat start. And it's because your blood is just flowing through your body, which it should be. Um, and so I thought maybe this will help. I don't know. Um, it's got a power button. It says it's skin friendly, soft design, suitable for both large and small necks because it does adjust. And let's look at this. Oh, it cost me the neck fan, 89 cents. So I'm hoping it works, but again, only 89 cents. Um, I've seen them on there for quite a lot more. I just happened to get one of their lightning deals. Uh, let's see. Instructions. Wear it around the neck. Click the button to turn on and off. Three, adjust, three adjustable gears. Sequentially press the button to change the wind speed. One, two, three. So it comes in another little baggie. It feels substantial, but not like, you know, oh my gosh, it's heavy. So here we go. So it's got your charging port there, your on and off button right here. Um, the fans are right there and right there. And it looks like here. Um, let's see if it, I just showed you the power button. Now I'm looking for it. Uh, adjustable wise. I'm not sure where it adjusts, but it does. Oh, it does this way. Okay. Um, fan. Let's see if it's charged at all. It is. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. A little loud, but all I have to hear is my trainer on the iFit. So, can you see it? It is windy. I was going to see if it was blowing my hair, but it really is that. Let's check. Where'd the button go? Another speed off. So one, okay, two, three. Oh, that is really nice. This would be lovely at, you know, you're going to your children or grandchildren sporting events, like my son played t-ball forever. Oh, this is nice. Um, sitting outside in that heat, this would be amazing. Um, if you're, you know, getting any kind of hot flashes, luckily, knock on wood again, I've never suffered that, but I hear people do. Um, this would be amazing. Oh, so lovely. Uh, I can think of like a million sitting outside at like, you know, a music thing. They have music down by uh, where I live, down by the lake. You could sit out there and have this going and still hear the music. It is a little loud. I hope you can hear that. Um, that's at the top setting. It does say left and right in here, but you just want to put this so that it's blowing up towards your head. And it is, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really nice. I mean, and for 89 cents and it works and it's cold and it, yeah, I mean, I can't lose on this one. It did have a tiny little light back here, that little dot um, to tell me it was on. But I can hear it, so I don't really need to know that. But yeah, I mean, if you see it on a lightning deal and it's around that price or better, or eat, I'd even spend a little more, you know, if I had a job. Um, but <laughs> this is great for 89 cents. I'm so glad I actually got, yes, that, that exceeds my expectations. So, okay, I'll let you know if I find anything wrong with it. Um, this next item... I got these because they just, they just look so cute. And 
I have so many of the tank tops or different ones that have like uh, a lower back or an opening in the back. And I just thought this would be so pretty to see instead of just my back. So I'll show you the picture of her in a minute. But this goes so it hooks to your bra straps. Okay. Um, and then it, it kind of, this would be what would be on your back, in the middle of your back, like a racer top. So it's this beautiful lace design, these leaves and flowers, and it just goes onto your bra to turn your bra into like a razor back, at racer back. So it just comes off of here. Oh, let me get it off of here. This cost me a whole... Where am I seeing this? Bra straps, one twenty nine dollar and twenty nine cents. Um, so there's what it's going to look like on your back. Except mine is is a different design, but you know it'll have that crisscross, and that's what you'll see in the middle of your back. So if you're wearing something with a really low back, but you just kind of want to have a little extra down there, so it looks like you know you just attach it to your straps on your bra. I'm trying to see what you're seeing, um, and then tur it turns it into the crisscross with that design on it. So yeah, I thought that was so pretty. I mean, just yeah. You can see through it. It's gorgeous. And I liked it so much. <laughs> Hi, Belle. How are you? you give me kisses? Yeah. Okay. And then I also got it in this different design. And it's in white. So, again, it'll just go down the middle of your back. Attach to your bra. Turn it into a racer back. But have this beautiful design on it. And, again, this was $1.29. And unfortunately, we're done. So, hi. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me see if I can get her for you. Where are you, my Belle? There she is. <laughs> Sorry, you have to see my shorts. Uh, there's my baby. But anyway, um, just wanted to say again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the amazing comments you have been leaving me. Um, I read every one of them. I try and respond to every one of them. If you see a heart, that's me. Um, but I try to reply anyway. Um, you've just been so inspiring. And that you all, all your thoughts are with me and with Bella. And um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do good. I mean, I can't have all this positive energy going and then nothing good come of it. So yeah, no, you don't. You get what you put out. So I'm putting out the positive Y'all have been putting out the positive for me, and um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna conquer this, and we're gonna get a great job, and we're gonna get more Timu stuff, and <laughs> we're gonna go on more cruises, and get you more content. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I know sometimes you just put a comment and you think, you know, what what good is this for someone? But it it brings such joy to me when I read them and uh, just knowing there's someone out there. So um, I have a small family and um, I've worked at home for years. So I have a very small group and it's just nice to have all of you guys out there being in my corner. So um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've taken your advice. Um, like I said, I did the unemployment and I'm doing the things that you guys have suggested. So thank you. Um, and again, other people have suggested maybe some different kind of video ideas that I'm looking into, seeing how to do them and, and, and everything. So if you have more ideas, please put them down in the comments for me. I love them. And um, Again, my cruise will be in September, so we've got a little while to wait. Um, another thing is if you are going on a carnival cruise, I don't know if you know about this um, or are interested, but Facebook, you can almost always find a Facebook book on Facebook group on there um, that's for your specific cruise. So I just looked up carnival cruise and then I put the date of my cruise, September 25th, um, in Facebook search. And then it came up actually with two groups they already started. And what's fun about that is you can ask questions and people will give you answers. Um, 
some of the questions you're probably better off going to carnival and asking or you know you can ask me some things if I know the answer but um, the other nice thing is they'll do it depends on what level of involvement you want on your cruise I told my son who's newly divorced um, unfortunately um, that they've already got some singles meetups scheduled um, a lot of them will do uh, like meet and greets they'll do um, some of them were doing uh, bar crawls, if that's something that you're into. They were setting up times to meet and places to meet for that. Uh, they had different game things planned already. So you can find all your fellow cruisers on there and you can kind of get to know some of them already uh, before you even hit the water. Um, and that's kind of fun. Um, they also, a lot of them will put in like, we're staying at this hotel, we're coming down on, you know, Sunday, anybody want to get together for a dinner or something. So you can really get involved, especially if you're a solo traveler, which I love doing. Um, but if you're a solo traveler and you want a little more interaction, that's a great place to start meeting people. And, you know, maybe there's somebody on there that wants to do an excursion that you want to do. Um, that's another thing, too, is you can ask on there, has anybody ever done such and such? A, you know, have you, have you ever done ever done zip lining and you know wherever how was that um and then people come back to you with their reviews of it or you know i'm going to progress so what suggestions do you have for me should i do an excursion um is it an easy place to get off the ship and just do your own thing no it is not uh but that's a question that you can ask cozumel most definitely get off that ship do whatever you want you don't have to do excursions uh progress not so much it's like a really long dock before you ever get to civilization so yeah not my favorite place but um i just want to be on the water uh so anyway so do that if you're going on a carnival cruise even if you don't want to be involved in it it's kind of fun to just be part of that group and just to read some of the things that they're putting out there and maybe they happen to put out something on their comment or something and you are interested in that and you didn't even know you would be. So it's a great idea to do that. And then of course you can do your cruising ducks, hide your ducks on the ship and people will post on their different ducks they're hiding. And it's great when you found one to take a picture of yourself with the duck and the little card that's attached and put it into that Facebook group so people can see, oh, somebody, you know, found my duck I hid and they were all excited and it just brings joy to someone, which we need to do all the time. So, um, yeah, join those groups if you happen to be going. I know one of my viewers, you are going in December. Um, so check out the December one. Just like I said, put in the search on Facebook, Carnival Cruise, December, whatever date you're going. And then hopefully a group will pop up and you can join it and have some fun, you know, reading all the stuff on there. So tell me if you've done that before, if you've enjoyed it, or maybe just let me know that, nah, I just like to do my own thing and I don't want to really, you know, get involved with anybody else. And that's cool too. I do that sometimes. So, um, and then the other thing, they can also answer you, like, you know, somebody asked um, what, what is going on if you don't get off the ship at a port. Is there anything on the ship to do? And oh my gosh, the answer is yeah. Uh, the only things you cannot do is casino. They cannot run their casino when they are docked at a port. Um, and they cannot um, open their um, the stores on the ship. So if there's something you're needing desperately from a store, you'll have to get off the ship and go to one of the, the, the stores there. But um, so yeah, so there's a little tip for you. Hope you use it. Um, Bella is sleeping and uh, she says hello to everybody and thank you so much for commenting on her and all the people that found the little heart on her her heart her heart spot um, and everybody that's told me you know she's she's beautiful and everything so I think so but it's nice to hear it from others <laughs> um, she's my best buddy so have an amazing day stay positive um, good things will come your way um, you know I that's all I can do. I can just stay. I mean, yeah, I guess I could just sit and whine and cry and, and, and don't get me nowhere. So I'm going to treat it like work. I'm going to sit here every morning after our walk and I'm going to apply for jobs. I'm not saying I'm sitting here eight hours. I'm going to take some time to myself, but I will be sitting here and doing at least, you know, four to five, hopefully applications a day and getting it out there and 
clicking in with my LinkedIn people and doing everything I need to do. Um, and I hope that if you're in the same situation, you can, maybe that little tip will help you out too. Um, or if you have some tips for me, let me know. Again, like, subscribe, um, comment, <laughs> and share if you could. I would so much love to grow this channel uh, way beyond my wildest dreams. 200, you've already blown my mind. Wow, thank you, thank you. And uh, please keep watching and we'll go through all this together. We'll go through some dips and we'll go through some highs and that's just life. So uh, make the most of it, you know, have a great day. It was raining, it's beautiful out now. Yes, positivity and a beautiful sunset last night. Um, joy, joy in the world, joy in everybody, joy in you guys. You guys bring me so much joy. Every weekend when I go to the show or dinner with my parents, I'm always like, guess how many subscribers I have. So it's 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 awesome. So again, thank you all. I love y'all. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm still grinding through. We're still doing our walks, doing my work here. And uh, yeah, good things are coming. So <laughs> stay here. Enjoy them with me. Okay. Love you guys. Thank you again. Mwah. Go out and put a little joy in someone's life. Let me know what you did below or how you made somebody smile today. So have a great day, guys. Bye.